Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for July 9th through the 15th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this is, um, if you're watching this looking for information about your bank account or your career, then you're watching the wrong reading. This is a love reading. If you're in a happy relationship, then these readings aren't for you, okay? So, just saying, if you're happily ever after, then you probably shouldn't be watching these readings because these readings are for people that are struggling, okay? That's what comes up. It's for people that need help. That That's exactly what these readings are for. So keep that in mind. You could be dealing with a Leo. Just flew out of the deck. It's about confidence, strength, courage, willpower. Something um, isn't happening. Lack of energy. Well, they're just a falling right out. Somebody needs to act with integrity, do the right thing. There's no, something is like, there's no passion left. It's like there's no passion. That Knight of Wands reverse is no passion, no action. And that Page of Pentacles is somebody needs to find their focus, their concentration, their backbone to do the right thing. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is abundance, security, home. Could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody needs to release, let go. You have to let go of something that's not going anywhere to bring back structure to your life. Maybe it's time to focus on your independence. Maybe it's time to work on you. Somebody is not mastering their emotions here, overly emotional, in a situation that may be stable and secure. Maybe the home is stable and secure financially, but there's discontent, there's heartache, there's suffering going on in the home. And it feels as though, you know, somebody is, is, is thinking about their independence or working on getting independent, enjoying life. I'm ready to enjoy life. I'm ready to be happy, feeling abundant. But with this Five of Pentacles, there's been some sort of... left out darkness you know left out in the cold or and then you know here we have victim mentality here we have victim mentality i'm not sure if it's you or the person that you're dealing with but somebody lacks energy ambition drive and they probably play the victim they play that victim card that's what it looks like to me and it's bringing you down scorpio it is bringing you down i feel like you go through your days trying to enjoy life trying to trying to um just be happy, you know, but there is a feeling of sadness here. There's a feeling of heartache because you may have to release something and that hurts. Release and hurts, hurts and hurts right next to this release. I think there's something that needs to be released so that you can get your life back under control, so that you can get your life back on track. It's like you have to take the lead and do the right thing and be independent because this situation is going nowhere. That's what it looks like to me. Whew. So people see that this is insecure. They do. I mean, that five of pentacles is how other people see this situation. They see that this is insecure or that you may have felt insecure. But they also see that you're strong. They see that you have the ability to take care of yourself. So that's great. Your challenge is your, is your heart. Your challenge is your emotions. You're letting yourself, letting your feelings um, get the best of you. That's in your challenge position. But your overall message is that emperor, that's take the lead, be the boss of your own life, dominate this situation, and you dominate it by no longer resisting change, by allowing it to go, releasing it. Yeah, I'm not going to hold on to this anymore, I have to let it go, because I can see that there's no forward movement, there's no forward action here to be taken. And I feel like this, the overall, I mean, the outcome card is heartache. So somebody's going to get hurt out of this situation, probably both of you. 
Um, stand up for yourself, Scorpio. Defend yourself in this situation. Okay? You need to do something to bring back your inner abundance, okay? You know, wherever you're at, there's no wish fulfillment. And I feel like, you know, you could be dealing with somebody that has a really big ego. Because, I mean, here we have ego. And this is, uh, this is represented by Leo, who also has a very big ego. So there's ego here. I feel as though there's a lack of wish fulfillment where you're at. So you may be thinking about closing that door and leaving somebody in the cold because you don't see any forward path. Whatever this is. Um going back to happiness, going back to your innocence. Maybe you're going back to the past. I don't know. Maybe you're remembering the past when there was real love and and now you need to cut somebody out so that you can get back to that. You know, this is cut somebody out. You have to go to your independence here. I do see independence with the Nine of Pentacles and this Queen of Swords. This is an independent person. Both of these cards are. I'd rather be independent than involved where in a situation where I always have to walk on eggshells, where I can't see any forward path, where I know this isn't right, and there's a lot of um, ego in the way. So I feel like you guys may be seeing a situation clearly and getting ready to cut somebody out of your life and focus on your future. It's like you're beginning to realize what you want, where, where you want your future to be in three years. It's like, you know, this ain't it. This ain't it. Therefore, you were probably involved in a one-sided situation. You probably have to walk away from it you, and go after what you deserve. If you don't walk away, then you aren't going to get what you deserve. Somebody's not getting what they deserve. And you have to think logical here. Be logical. Where are you going to be in three years with this situation? If it's not happy now, do you seriously think that it's going to change in three years, especially if it's one-sided? If you're dealing with somebody that lacks ambition, lacks drive, is impulsive, doesn't have follow-through, I mean, where's it going to be? Be logical. This is a logical decision that you need to make at this time. Do you have energy to give to this situation in which you're not getting, you're not getting back? There's an opportunity for love here with somebody that you're, this is a new opportunity, okay? This is when, when the lover's card comes out for me in this type of reading, it signifies that you have somebody else. It's not the one that you think. It's not the one that you're with. It's with somebody else. That's what this card means. There's probably an unexpected choice in love coming in or it's already here and you have to make a decision in regards to whether you want to let go of this other situation that you're in or move forward but you're going to have to release something somebody's going to get hurt along the way there is a new opportunity with somebody that is very well suited for you somebody that mirrors your soul could be a gemini we have gemini libra aquarius gemini libra aquarius i'm wondering if it is a earth uh air sign because that's pretty prominent here um, I feel like there is an unexpected opportunity with somebody that, you know, it could be a soulmate connection. There's definitely uh, inner knowing with this person. It's like you guys know each other and they're very well suited for you. It's interesting. Um, it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well because it is connected to the lover's card. could be somebody from your past with the Six of Cups. But you have to remove an obstacle before you can reunite with this lover. Before you can have this union, you have to remove an obstacle that's in your way. F to have a fresh start with somebody else. See, there's an opportunity for a fresh new beginning. But you have to take a risk. You have to take the step. You have to step out of your comfort zone. It might hurt to do that. I do feel like there's going to be some heartache here. Somebody's going to get hurt along the way. I feel like you have a choice to make, a decision between two partners. That's what it looks like to me. One of them mirrors your soul. One of them is lackluster. And, but you were invested in them for some time. And now you're, you're torn between you know hurting that other person. Um, yeah, there's definitely some deceit here. So I think that, you know, I'm not sure if there's been cheating or lying or deceitfulness, but there, there is some deceit, whether it's even you, okay, self-deceit, you know, deceiving yourself by staying in a situation that is shady. 
There's a shady situation here that doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. And I think you know exactly what this is, Scorpio. There's, a, there's an opportunity that you can't pass up elsewhere. And so you're probably going to have to make a decision to stop focusing on, you know, a third party situation. Because here we have the Ace of Cups. Here we have the Three of Cups. Perhaps you've always, you know, you've been thinking, you know, I can't, what am I going to do? You've had a, this choice for quite some time. Now you have to choose one. Here's the three of you. Now you got to choose one because you can't continue to be deceitful. Whether it's you or the, somebody's being deceitful here, you need to make a decision. You need to choose one and stop worrying. Let close the door so that you don't have to lose sleep over this anymore. So you don't have to worry about it anymore. So you don't have to be paranoid. Something needs to end. Something needs to be released so that you can bring back structure, stability, and security to your life. It's time for you to do what's right. Do the loyal thing. Act with integrity. Because right now, there's a lot of self-deceit here. Again, deception, deception. It's all over in this reading. Somebody is deceiving themselves by not following their heart. Remember I said be logical. You have to make a logical decision here. You know, your heart wants something else. That I don't know what this is or who this is for. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, you shouldn't be watching this reading. For some of you that are struggling, which everybody that's watching this should be struggling. Because that's what these readings are for. There's manipulation, there's trickery, there's cunning, there's uh, somebody is completely being dishonest here. Using whatever means that they can use to, 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 to deceive. And it could be you, you know, to cover it up. I'm going to cover this up, my true feelings. I'm covering this up as long as I can. But that can only last for so long. Somebody is emotionally unavailable, you know, this is a lack of emotion here. It is. In one situation, it's like there's there's no love there. There's no love there. And it's time for you to take that next step. You will adapt. The other person will adapt. You have to make a decision that's practical for you. There's something going on behind the scenes that you can fight. You can't fight this. It's whatever's meant to be is meant to be. There's hidden forces that are bringing two people together that is unstoppable. It's un it's not something that you can control. There's fear, fear of the unknown. Pay attention to your dreams at this time because your dreams are telling you what direction to go in. It's time for you to make that decision. It's, it's decision making time. You have a new suitor that is much better suited for you. Could be any sign. This signifies a new suitor. And that with the lover's card, there is a new suitor. There's somebody else that has just entered your life just not six months ago just entered your life or will be in the very near future in which you know the spark the excitement is so grand that you can't ignore it so i feel there's a new opportunity for love here scorpio and you have to make a decision you're probably going to have to leave somebody behind and it's going to hurt <clears throat> Love yourself first. Do what's right for you. That's what this card says. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Do what's right for you. That's what you have to do. That's what the universe wants you to do. Do what's right for you. This is saying, yes, go for it. Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. There's a new opportunity for love here with somebody brand new. It is. It's not with the person you that you think it is. This person is unexpected. They came into your life unexpectedly, out of the blue recently. If this didn't happen six months ago or nine months ago or a year ago. This is a, this is a new development. Somebody has come in, they've sparked your interest, you guys have this, this uh, inner knowing about each other, it's like a soul connection, and you're being called to take a chance. 
because you're you have to put yourself first in this dynamic this person is very well suited for you it could be any sign at all this person mirrors your soul go for it talk to you later